All right, we got our first part in here. Let's go and get the next thing going. So we're going to draw a new sketch. Sketching. And we're going to go on this face right here. Okay. And watch this. this is cool. I'm going to not spin just yet so we can do this. But I'm going to use the uh, project line tools. If you push S key and it's right there. Or if I go up here, it's the shortcut is U. So I, I use this one a lot. So U. I'm going to click on these lines right here. And it's projecting those lines to my sketch. We're going to need those. Now I just need to draw a line across the top of these. And it fit and it shaded in and we're done. <laughs> That's it. Pretty cool. So now I'm going to go in and green checkbox. And we've got our sketch there. And I'm going to extrude right there. So I'm going to go the other way. And the depth needs to be 1.75. Okay, that looks good. And check it out. As it did that, it tried to add it. I did not want that. I want to make a new part right now. So make sure you're looking for that color change so that it doesn't add to the current part that you have there. So uh, just double checking that we are the correct distance. Yeah, 1.75. And we are good to go. Now we're going to make a hole in the top of this thing so I'm going to go S and I'm going to click on my sketch we're drawing on top and then we're going to push S again circle and make sure when you do this one we don't want to offset we want it in the center make sure it's lined up there and then we can click and just drag it out a little ways so our hole size is 1 8 I believe so 1 divided by 8 Okay, and then we need to dimension it because remember it's blue right now, and so that means that if I click and drag on it, it can only move up and down, and I have to constrain that. So I'm going to push S or D, D is the shortcut, and I can click on that center point to the bottom, and I'm going to do some math, and I'm going to do that in my head. Oh, uh, what is it? One and three quarter. So half of one and three quarter, one and fifteen sixteenths. No, no, <laughs> one seven eighths. I was thinking about something else. Seven eighths. Seven divided by eight, and we're fully constrained. Where did it come from? Oh, it attached to the center point of that over there. This is good for us to see. Um, so if I turn this off, so now when you over constrain something then the red shows up okay and so this red means that this line that dot right there is trying to make this point and that point parallel and that's not important to me actually so i'm going to click on it i'm going to delete it and it moved down into the correct position and we're not red anymore so um it it went off the it was trying to match the center point of this line right here we didn't want that we moved it down a little bit so let's go ahead and green checkbox and then we shall uh, extrude and then I'm getting that hole we're going to remove material and this is an interesting thing here too we can teach you about is that right now it's only connected to part two right if I wanted to cut that hole straight through both parts we could click on merge scope and let's go ahead and add in that right there and now it's cutting through both parts and you can see they're both here so I only want to cut through one part, so let's go ahead and go there. And then rather than, I, I don't like to have arbitrary numbers there, so I want it to have a purpose. I don't need a number. I just can say through all, or I can say up to next. And that'll just stop the hole when it gets to the bottom of this object right there, and it'll be good to go. So the hole's going all the way through to the blue. All right, so let's go and push the screen checkbox on that. Then we can find our... Um, access point. I had made this before. Let's go and rename this because if I need it again, let's call this our axis, right? And I'm going to turn that back on because we're going to use it again. We're going to pattern this part around that axis, okay? And so if I come up here and we go up to circular pattern again, if it's not there, then it should be under the arrow. Circular pattern. What are we in? Last time we did a feature pattern, and this time we're going to do a part pattern. What part are we going to pattern? I'm going to click on this part, 
and it got it. Now I'll access the pattern. We know our center point there. Okay, and now I just tried to make four of them. I don't want four of them. And I want two. And I don't want them straight across from each other. I want them uh, 90 degrees from each other. So let's put it over there. Noise. We got it. Boom. Part in place. Bada bing, bada boom. Looks good. All right. Good luck. See you on the next one. Adios.